All right. It has been a long time since I've looked at elementary OS. And I know from past experience, elementary always brought some pretty interesting things to the table. And I saw on a website that there is a new release of elementary coming out. So I couldn't resist to uh, stop for a minute and take a peek at what's to come. And this is, of course, um, elementary OS 5 Juno. And uh, this is a beta. So this is what is yet to come. And this is using the Pantheon desktop. Now, the one thing that I really like about this operating system is the fact that it is very simplistic in appearance and design. This is a perfect OS to give to grandma or to uh, somebody in your household who is, who, uh, who really isn't tech savvy. And it's definitely not for the type of person who wants to customize this to the hilt. This was designed with functionality in mind, as you'll see here. Okay, so on first glance, at the bottom, you're going to see that you have a little panel here that has some applications uh, that you can launch. With the inclusion of their App Center, and it's telling me that there are five updates uh, since I uh, since I installed this uh, the other day. Okay, and so basically you have a nice categorized center with which to install applications. Okay, all right, and um, like many other GNOME derivatives, when you open an application, you have the ability to right click on it and click the keep in dock or uh, uncheck it to remove it from the dock when the application closes. So that's how you modify uh, the dock down here. Okay, uh, let's take a quick run through uh, the icons at the top and then we'll get a little bit into the nitty gritty of what is being offered here. Uh, a session button where you can uh, choose your preference for locking the screen, logging out, and even adjusting your user account settings so you can create new users right here and define whether or not they are an administrator. That's convenient. They have it there. Very easy to find. A notification center. And you can even set this at do not disturb mode. So it will not nag you whenever uh, something is happening. You also have uh, your uh, power settings that you can manage from a window right here. Your network settings. And your volume. Okay. And of course you have quick access to their volume control as well, where you can define your output and your input. I really like how they design this. Now, one thing that Elementary has been known for is that they do a very nice job of making their own little applications in-house. So this adds a nice little bit of polish to the operating system. And then at the center here, you have a quick access to your calendar and time and date settings. I also note that this is very fast and responsive. Okay, now when we go into applications here, all right, you have two different ways to lay this out. These are all of the applications that you're seeing right here that's installed on this. This is it not a whole bunch of applications. So this is a very light system in terms of applications that are installed. A basic application is installed to perform a specific function. And pretty much, you know, it's bare bones and basic. So if there is a particular application that you don't care for and you'd much rather swap it out for something else, this is a little bit easier for you. You can have a category view if that is more to your liking as you add applications. But right here, just the way it is, works out pretty good. Um, their code editor seems to be pretty neat. This looks like a little in-house uh, application as well. Um, but it didn't give me any information about it because this looks like something that I would probably enjoy playing with uh, on my Manjaro box. You can change the theme and the design of it, though. 
Okay, and there are some other options you'll have to tinker with here. Okay, um, they also included Epiphany, which is a WebKit-enabled browser. And basically, WebKit it will give you uh, a pretty similar experience to that of uh, the Chrome-type web browsers. If we go into system settings, you get just the bare, bare basics as you're going to see here. Okay. From here, you can manage which applications are your defaults. And you can also uh, specify which applications you want to launch on startup. Okay. You can also manage your desktop preferences and just the basics are included here, such as your wallpaper, your dock preferences. So maybe you want to have a small dock or a large one. Okay. And there are a few other options here. And then they have hot corners. So maybe um, by moving the mouse to the bottom corner, you can have it uh, switch to multitasking view or any one of the other functions that they give you here. So far, so good. All right. Um, you can also define languages, notification preferences, and that sort of thing. And you can also define your security preferences as well, configure your firewall, and all of that other good stuff. So far, we're in a nice little setup here. You can configure your hardware, displays, and that sort of thing. But really, there is nothing in here um, for theming. Um, so yeah, that kind of that kind of got me there because usually the first thing I want to do when I uh, install an operating system is that I'll want to, you know, change its look and feel. And really, the only thing I think that I could find um, was uh, they have you have the ability to swap this out for a high contrast theme, but that's it. That was the only theme option I could find on here. Um, you can change the transparency of the panel too. Would have been nice to see maybe an extra theme or having theme support added into this to allow you to have uh, some better customization options. Okay, and maybe that's something that will be added after this rolls out of the beta phase. Who knows? And maybe there could could be other things because when I just did a search for theme. Um, you have desktop and the universal access. Those are the only things that came up, and uh, there is nothing in either of these topics um, that really cover anything about theming. So, I mean, this is a complete OS in its own right, though. Um, and if you don't need the uh, fancy customization options and that sort of thing, this operating system is very nicely laid out and could help you to get your uh, everyday tasks done. If you uh, prefer not to have a software center such as this, you can install the Synaptic Package Manager to have a traditional uh, package uh, installer if that is what you wish. So. I'm liking the direction that uh, Elementary OS uh, has uh, gone here. I mean, they have a beautiful, sleek, and elegant looking OS. It appears to be uh, responding very well to me. Uh, but then again, I'm also running on a uh, solid state drive, so everything is going to run uh, expectedly quicker. Um, but it looks like this is something uh, that would be very good for you to pass on uh, to a family member who's not so tech savvy and yet be able to manage that system for them uh, quite easily. So this one definitely uh, has a, a favorable review on my part. I like what I see here. I can't wait to see what elementary is going to be bringing to the table next. If you think this is something you would like to use, definitely Go ahead and download this. There will be a link in the description. Give it a try for yourself and see if this is something you will be using. On an upcoming edition of Couple Linux, um, I had some requests uh, from some of you guys asking me to do another Linux does but when don't video. And um, 
uh, Crimson gave me the idea to switch it around a little bit and do a window does what Linux don't video. So I'm uh, in the stages of getting that prepared and uh, that might be a little bit fun. Why not switch things up a little bit? I've been switching up everything since I came back this time around, so why not? If you have any show ideas, the best place to interact with yours truly is at cupoflinux.com. Hit me up in the suggestion box or hit me up. Put in your requests. Um, if there's uh, enough interest in them, I'll consider looking in them uh, for certain. Uh, and until I see you next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.